Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today I'm outside to test the return to home functionality of the brand new DJI Mini 4K drone. Now, return to home is one of the many safety features built into the drone that will actually protect you when you're out flying and something happens with the drone. Because what return to home does is it fixes its position at the takeoff point using GPS and a few other technologies to know exactly where it was when it took off. And that way, if you're flying the drone and you lose sight of it in the woods or maybe something happens inside the drone where the battery level drops too low or the IMU or compass are a little bit off, the drone can trigger it as well or you can trigger it by holding this button down right here. But the minute return to home is triggered, the drone immediately elevates to the height you've got set in the application, spins to face the home point, flies back and lands pretty much where it took off. So that means if the drone has problems when it's flying or if you get a little bit panicked because you can't remember where the drone is in that tree line, you can hit the return to home button and know that the drone's gonna find its way back home and land safely. Now, a lot of the DJI drones actually have cameras in the bottom that'll take a picture of the takeoff point, and that's called precision return to home. The Mini 4K just has general return to home, which uses GPS coordination to find that home point, so it's not gonna be quite as accurate as some of the other larger drones are, but it does a really good job of getting it back to its home point, and for me, that's all that matters, because if it's back where I can see it again, or it's at least above me, I can use the controls to land it pretty much anywhere I need to. So for this test, what I'm gonna do is I've got a full battery in the drone, I'm going to send it downfield about 100 feet or so. I'm going to trigger, manually trigger that return to home by pushing that button. And the drone should elevate to the height I've set in the application, which is about 80 feet, because I don't really need to go that high. There's not a lot of obstructions here. It'll turn to face home point, fly back, and land pretty much where it took off. All right, so let me put the drone up. And let's see how this works. All right, spin up the props. Now we'll head up, and I'll go downfield. Yeah, I'll go down about 100 feet or so. No need to go too far. I'll go down a little further. Good. All right, so right now I'm about four feet off the ground and I haven't triggered the return to home. It's kind of just hovering there. I'm gonna hit this button and listen what happens. Hear that beeping? Drone's already elevating. I've set it at 82 feet as a return to home height. So it's heading up, it'll stop at 82 feet. Exactly 82 feet. <laughs> and now it's spinning to face the home point and it's coming back. And man, it's coming back at a pretty good clip too. And it looks like it's right on the money for this, uh, this mat right here where it took off. So it should find the mat. Okay, it's over the mat right now. And let's see if it's gonna start descending. Nope, it's still fixing its position. So it's up there and it's trying to find the exact location with GPS where it thinks the home point is. Now it's descending, it's coming down. It's slowly coming down. It's not coming down in a hurry. It's taking its time, which is kind of nice because that gives me plenty of time. If it's not gonna land on the mat, I can make adjustments here. So it's a little bit off to the right, which is totally fine with me. And now I can sort of take control. And as it comes down, I can redirect it to get it right over the mat and land it again where it took off. Now I had to adjust it at the end, but again, for me, on a drone like this, for it to have the ability to remember where it took off, to be able to get back to the takeoff point and then come down close enough where I can see it and manage it, I can land it using the control. So this is, again, is just another one of the safety features built into the Mini 4K. And I think they did a great job including it in a drone of this caliber. Because with new flyers, you're definitely gonna want a feature like that built into your drone to know that you can get it back home safely no matter what's happening out in the field. So that's all I really had for today. Hopefully you found this review helpful.